Tom Cruise is Tom Cruise crazy. Just be glad it's him, not Good afternoon, everybody. After a week off because of, well, let's be frank, pain issues. Um, we're back to the Game Boy Advance stuff today. It's advanced appraisals. Uh, there's not a lot more, more to say to that. I don't think... That, oh, yes. Um, no, I don't think there's anything else to say. No. No, we're good. We'll go straight into the games. Uh, we finished last time on some Avatar games. Iceman has redeemed first. How are you doing, Iceman? Crap, I forgot to uh, change the scene transitions. There we go. Right, so... Why have I got no fucking audio? We got to Avatar, the Legend of Ang, the Burning Earth. Now we're on to Baba to the rescue. So we're into the bees. But I don't know why I've got no game audio. Might be a case where I have to kick the splitter again. We'll see what happens when I start the game. Can I come to? Hey, TB. Right, you've got no game audio. I don't know what the deal is with that. Give me one second. Ugh, stupid fucking thing. Here we've got it now. <sighs> it's a weird thing where um That's quite loud that. It's a weird thing where it's sometimes just unplugging all the things from the uh, HDMI splitter seems to reset it. I don't know why it does it. Uh, we don't care about all that crap. I remember Baba vaguely. I think it was a bit old for Baba. Uh, I suppose we'll start off with Baba. So I've put this subject line as. Let's discuss stupid shit we... Well, I didn't put shit because Twitch won't allow that. Stupid shit we see at the gym. Because... Just another thing occurred this morning where I'm just looking at someone and I'm thinking... Are you right in the head? And Don, Don knows this because I messaged him once I got out of the gym about it. Help my back control the balloon and avoid the obstacles to make it safer to the children. So this is basically Flappy Bird with an elephant. Yep. Um, see, why the f why the fuck would you wear sandals to the gym? I'm assuming the trees count as obstacles. Yep, they do. That parrot was a dickhead. So I collect the crowns, don't crash into shit. Seems pretty steady away. I mean, it's a bad bar game. It's never going to be the most intense experience. Oh, did I miss that episode of Baba where he went on a, a vengeful killing spree? Dead to be honest, begging for an issue. Exactly. Like, here's the thing to be. It's not even like they were wearing sandals with the intention of taking them off and then just doing stuff flat-footed, or that they were even um, sandals which were like properly strapped on. They were just dress sandals, and what gets me is the personal trainer didn't say shit. It's like, ah, oh, that's that's right, you know. There's no possible down uh, downside to you. Wearing sandals. I 
But then, you know, I see dumb shit at the gym regularly, and I'm not sitting here like I'm, you know, the fucking paragon of all knowledge when it comes to this stuff. I really am not. I, I appreciate my body size and everything might think, make people think I have no idea what I'm talking about. Trust me, my body's the way it is because I like pizza. Do I land on the platform? Yes. Hey, Dargan! Uh, negligence on the train again. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, the point was, I see this dumb shit all the time, but what I will say is when I see the dumb shit that some people do, they still look good, which is an argument for consistency. It's like you can do the wrong exercises or do the exercise incorrectly, but I suppose if you do it often enough, at least you're working something. Get out of the way, parrot. The cards are a tad irritating, but I'm guessing they're meant to be. Right. I'm wondering if this is just everything that Baba does, or whether other characters do different stuff or whether he's got different levels. This would totally be a mobile game these days. I think my favourite dumb thing I've seen at the gym in recent memory, uh, and I'll have to finish the level before I, I, I'd, I'd need to kind of demonstrate it to you because it was so monumentally dumb. In fact, I can think of two things. Hey, Trav! So, right, yeah. <laughs> if you're familiar with cable rowing machines, and I don't mean like your concept to actual rowing machines, I mean, it, like, it's one where you have the grip and you're meant to contract your shoulder blades and work your, your biceps, and mainly your upper back and shoulders. There was this old dude, right? And I tr I'll go full cam so you get the idea, best you can. He sat like this, and he grips it. And instead of pulling with his arms, he just starts going like this. So that's one of the dumbest things I've seen. And then the other one, which I don't need to describe to you, is if you've ever done kettlebell bell raises, if you do them with the a kettlebell in each hand, you're a fucking idiot. Because they just cancel each other out. I am okay, it's very sleepy up early on my day off to fix a flat tire and get an oil change. That sounds like a quote unquote fun day. And uh sense of sarcasm. I'm just wanting to see, by the way, if we get to the end of this, whether he, 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 he does do any of the, anything different or just flies over. There's only a reason I persevered this fucking parrot persevered this far. Get out of the way, you avian fuck. Well, this thing, Trav, you know, I mean, I don't need you to tell this, you will have been told, and it's fairly obvious. Ankle injuries are no joke, but at the end of the day, they can be rehabbed. I watch a channel uh, called Buff Dudes, and a few years ago, one of the brothers completely blew out his ankle by doing a daft jump into, like, a sand pit. And like completely like shattered it, screws and everything. 
And he's managed to pull himself back so he's as strong as he was. And I think he said it actually did him a world of favours because it made him evaluate how he was working out, like what times and things. Because he was having to get up at certain times to do certain elements of his workout in peace. And then he realised, oh crap, I actually like getting up this early. So, I'm sure he'd rather have found that out with that, smashing his ankle into a thousand pieces. But at least he got something out of it. A learning experience, I suppose. Right, this this cannot be too riveting to watch. Oh, yeah. You know what? Thank you, Dargan. Thank you. Thank you for saying that to me. Right, you reminded me. I knew there was one more redeem that I wanted to add this. I wanted to add this weekend that I forgot to do. And you just remind me what the fuck it is. I am adding a redeem, and I'm gonna do it when I finish with this today. When we finish the stream, and it's just gonna be a cheap redeem. that it says, "Show sure, you forgot again." So you can now I'm on OBS rather than Streamlabs. If this happens again, it'll be like a point or something like that. Just send it back to to the gameplay for me. Right. So. I didn't hear the audio for that. Did the audio play? Well, no, because either is or it isn't. And then, I've got people here. Did the audio play for that, Tibby? Uh, the challenge image didn't trigger or sound. Hmm. Oh, this is the thing with trigger fire. It's really good, and then sometimes it will have these moods. It worked last time. But I'll have to have a look at that. I heard no audio or anything. I'll have to have a look at that and see why it hasn't fired in the same way. But it has still changed the... I don't get it. Like, it's done half of what it was supposed to do. You know what? Baba's pretty spi sprightly for a... Well, it's probably what he is, an elephant. I don't know how old he's meant to be as King Baba, because if you ever watch the show, the cartoon, he was always kind of like, there's a bit of him as a baby, a bit of him as a, an adult. Right, it's enough of that. I'm going to give that... Has it gone back again? Fox, did I change it? Oh, I don't piss it. You didn't miss anything. There was a bit of platforming. I'm going to give that... Two... Right, so going over to the uh, over to OBS is not being without its teething problems, but I don't think it's OBS that's the problem. And I've just dropped my pen down the side of the chair. Damn it! Well, thank you, Trav. I will take that compliment. Right, let's put the score in the book. Now I've dropped the book. Uh, what the fuck have I done here? Baba to the rescue. I'll give that a two. Perfectly acceptable for a kid. But, you know, it's not going to keep you, it, you into, uh, your attention too long. Right, back to stone. I vaguely 
But I assume you vaguely remember Baba, but I think I read more of the books than watching the show. I'll I'll have a review of all this stuff um tomorrow morning. Uh because I've got some editing to do anyway. I'm assuming there's just there's just some kind of I've I've got it to work one way but but not the other way. I'll tell you what I will do. I'm gonna go to my re redeems. I'm gonna reset that redeem and we'll see if it works going back the other way. And then if it does, we know that there's a there's just a problem. with how I set it up going one way. So I've taken away the refresh time. If someone wants to fire it again for me, I'd be very grateful. And it should work. And then after a second, the camera should go back to the scene. It's okay, Timmy. You can send it back the other way in a second. It's still on no refresh. So just do it again. So you should be able to send it straight back the other way. And then I can just keep an eye on it. And see what it's not doing. Well, someone send it back the other way, otherwise, uh, T Timmy's going to be upset. So, so hey, my, right, I'll do it then. It worked that time! What? Oh, damn you, Trigger Fire! You are so fucking moody! Edit. Right. Save. Right. There we go. I... I... I, I we tried it. It worked that time. You tell me what went wrong. Yeah. Well, now we've tried it four times. So technically it's worked three out of four times. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing here. I can hit things. Okay, miss. This is called uh, something stone. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you at the end, Trav. I was too busy trying to sort that out. It's advanced appraisals, Trav. It's Game Boy Advance. I'm doing exactly what I did with the Super Nintendo with Game Boy Advance. I thought, I thought you knew that. Bloodstone, that was the one. Thank you, Tibby. Question how do you make specific clips for a specific chatter in, chat in your chat? Right, I can tell you that, Dargan. What you need to do is you just make a clip on Trigger Fire. Don't worry about it, Trav. Make a clip on Trigger Fire. And then you need to add a tag to it that ties to uh, an account. Because if you go to the advanced settings, there will be a thing that says permit list and you can get it so just it applies to just one person right 
and that's how you can have the same redeem and have different things there's also things to put in parameters so people have to enter text um, if you want what I'll do remind me because I will forget is I'll send you a kind of tutorial on how to do it but it's really simple it's literally just a few clicks and then essentially what it does is it just matches up the fact that someone's come in like your name will display because you've chatted and it'll match that up to the redeem and away you go or as we say in this country Bob's your uncle To be honest, surprised me there were some good gems on it. I mean, that's what we're looking for, Trav. You know, same with the Super Nintendo. Like, we've been playing Alkahest on Super Nintendo um, for the last few um, Super Nintendo streams because I'm going back and doing the four star games, longer play. I am finishing Alkahest, it's fantastic. Now my biggest problem with this game is it's done that thing where down is kind of down and left is kind of left, but not really. I mean, that's not very well animated or drawn. But then again, we are watching, looking at it on a far larger screen. I just really didn't think... Really think they didn't get the word of mouth during the generation system like they had before and do now. Well, no, there was more systems. And we've, we've discussed this when it comes to some of the games that are on here as well. There was still this attitude that handhelds, even more than consoles, were for kids. And it's evidenced by some of the titles that are on here, like the Barbie games and stuff like that. Now to make rewards and commands as clips and sound bites, just didn't know how to make specific usernames like when Axe shows up here. Yeah, it's, it's literally there's a way to type someone's name. So now, and this is for all of you, I took away the um announce yourself redeem because um, I could get it so that everyone who's on the VIP list and it should as soon as you say something it just lets me know you're here and then I've got the other thing for people who aren't on the VIP list that I'm also here but trigger fire is like I said being a bit janky I think everyone was talking about Dreamcast or PlayStation or GTA at the time, but I think they learned the hard way and were lucky not to, to go away to Sega and lucky they made a lot of other shit that it props their company when their console has low pro profits. The thing is, what people forget in the West is that Nintendo is still king in Japan. They outsell PlayStation and uh, Xbox. It's essentially... Nintendo is Japanese Disney, almost. I know, maybe not so much in the film department, because obviously they've got Studio Ghibli, but there's definitely that thing with Mario and Zelda and all that. That's a, it's a massive cultural thing for the Japanese, where it's, it is kind of their Disney. I'd love to go to Japan and have a go at the uh, real Mario Kart racing they do. All right, don't want to do that. Can I actually fight something now? Yeah, you fought something. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, Nintendo ones, the Squares, Nintendo, Sony would be okay if they stopped making consoles as they make so many 
other shit. They just started this trading card company in like 1600s. Yeah, yeah, they did. Play too badly, all told. Oh god, I thought that was a. I just don't like the the directional controls. There was another game we played on Super Nintendo that did the same thing, and it really bugged me. It's, yeah, it's really it's really hard to tell where you're gonna go. I suppose that might be why this the, the health is so forgiving. They got lucky when they brought the deal with Sony. They could have easily gotten buried. They were still able to carve a niche. I mean. I think I'd say the biggest part of that was that Sega went down. You know, if Sega doesn't go south, maybe the story is different <laughs> because they ended up being at a point where. It was the it was them and Sony. Let's be honest. And you're always going to have one alternative. Microsoft still hadn't decided what they were doing. Um, can I pull this? Oh God! Right, I think I know what I need to do. Imagine if the Nintendo PlayStation actually came to fruition we didn't get the Philips CDI. Oh no! Stop pushing it, you galactic fuck nugget. I would think so much more highly of this game if it wasn't for the direction buttons. That's just, that's what's holding this back. Thank you, Dargan. Superstone! I'm gonna do another minute or so. Where are you going with it, you dick? Right. I'm gonna have to mark this down just because of the directional controls. So bear with me. Do -do -do. Let me check something. I never went back to my stream manager. Thought so. Maybe I need to make a habit of logging into Trigger Fire every time I start a stream. Because that does seem to make a difference. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, throw the stone down the hill. F it next game. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, it's called Back to Stone. Explain why there's so much knocking stones around. Right, the only other downside is I don't have my stream deck anymore because I'm not yeah. using Streamlabs anymore. 
So I'm back to using the scenes to trigger my stars. Right, backtrack. Now, if you're a fan of me playing the scary games, in fact, no, I'm going to leave this up to you. There's a scary game I've got, which I've never played before, which we could play tomorrow, or, because it's out and it's new, I could start on Sniper Elite 5. I want to know what people think. Do you refresh your cache when you add a new redeem after you edit it? Right, you just said a lot of shit. <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I expect shit to work when it, when it tells me it's gonna. So Stream Deck and OBS now work well together. No, because Stream Deck is made for Stream Labs. The Stream Deck that I had anyway. It was a, it was a, a bespoke Stream Labs Stream Deck. Strafey, strafey. Right, so I know what's what shoot then. So apparently this is a game where you can fail the first mission because apparently you can just leg it. Scary game plus show equals quality content. I mean, like... It's, it's one of those things where it's, if that's what you want, I'll... I'll absolutely play it. I'm just saying Sniper Elite is a choice, a Sniper Elite is... Well, I played Sniper Elite 4. That was fun. Right, how am I meant to get out of this? Oh, so you can't open a door or shoot at the same time. You know, it's one of those things where someone said, we can do this, but no one stopped to say, uh, ask themselves whether they should do this. Nope. I don't know how you'd play this on a hard setting. It's a Terminator! Alright, bonus points! So all intents and purposes, that is a Terminator. I've got another weapon now. Oh, look at the Swiss Army knife. How useless is this going to be? We're going to find out. Get shagged, dickhead! Taking out an Android with a pen knife. <sighs> Should be ashamed of yourself calling yourself Android Alien, whatever the fuck you are. It's n it ain't good, but not bad. Look at that letter opener. <laughs> Some energy. I don't know what energy is meant to do. Terminators! It's like, yeah, you know, for a Game Boy Advance game. 
it's not the worst kind of thing, but again, you shouldn't have to sit here and go, oh, for a Game Boy Advance game, it's not bad. It's like, if, if you can't make it good, don't make it. I want to find another gun. Also, no idea of telling where I am at all because everything looks the same and there's no real map I can see. Oh, that bullet! This Terminator just standing there taking the knife into the gut. Got him. <sighs> Five bullets left. <laughs> Is there a map? No. Not there, there isn't. Ah, here we go. We've got a map. Ish. <sighs> Give me the bullets. Uh, why, why are you running? I'm assuming it's because he's in danger. What the hell? Get a tap by three four three guilty spark. Probably don't want to walk into that. Being down here. I've had something other than a pistol by now. Who said that? Are these people that I'm saving? Oh, I've already freed that one. It's even hard to tell what's meant to be a door. Well, it looks like a door, but I can't open it. More humans. Shall we move on? Need to sit up straight, I think that one on my back.
So I feel like there are things I missed in here. More humans. I wonder what hard mode is like. It's like instead of you get a, a pen knife, you get a cotton bud. Worst thing though, that's kind of what I find irritating. Like, I want to give it more than I really should. Well, I guess it's just a nostalgia kick I'm getting in the kind of Duke Nuke, not, not, not Duke Nuke, Wolfenstein 3D. I'd say the closest thing to this would be the original Wolfenstein 3D. So how do I leave? What am I missing? Am I using humans as batteries? I, I, I genuinely don't know. There's something I'm not doing. There's something, there's something I'm not doing. But I don't know what it is. The music's pretty funky though, I'll give it that. Right, so that does nothing. There are no humans up here. There's no exit up here. Unless there's something here. There's like a black mark just on this side. Is that it? I feel like maybe that's where I'm meant to go. But I'll be damned if I know how I power it down so I can get past. What are these? Nope. Who knows? Meh. Two stars. Insta death be sure fail next game. I don't know what the, the deal is there. Next. So our next game would be just all two so far. We don't play baseball, we don't play basketball, we don't play football, we don't play sport games. Skateboarding is slightly different. So backyard backyard skateboarding. And for the record, I'm not gonna play favourites, I'm not gonna play FIFA either. Oh, there's a Baldur's Gate game on here. Oh, and that, which is actually supposed to be good, but made a, allegedly the worst film of all time. Allegedly. Backyard sports are trash anyways. I have no idea. I have no experience with them. I never had a Game Boy Advance. I wonder my brothers did. Oh god, it's already annoying. The music's irritating. Uh, so this is how we think kids speak. No. No. 
grew up with them when I was too old when they came out. Dude! Why does a guy on the left look like a fucking cheesy poof? Andy McDonald. Right, these are the names they came up with. Andy McDonald. Annie Frazier. Ahmed Khan. Ricky Johnson. Reese Worthington. Pete Wheeler. Pablo Sanchez, because they couldn't think of a more, you know, Hispanic name. Yeah, they're going with Ricardo Rodriguez to really go there. Keisha Phillips. Jacinda Smith. Question mark. Yes, my dear. Dmitry Petrovic. Dante Robinson. Tell you what, just for being a little bit different, Dante Robinson. I don't even know which way was forward for my dude then. Oh, no! We haven't got used to regular speed yet. Let's crash into this person. Play Mr. N3 challenge that before I can give you my challenge. Have you tried doing the rookie challenges? They're the ones with the yellow beacons. Oh god, this music is annoying. Okay, I mean there's some basic trickery in there. I can race around the block in under 90 seconds, think you can do better. You'll need to hold down the Ollie button to build speed, then release the jumbo rob skills and set up a course. Some of the course, what do you say, bud? I'm assuming A means yes because the cat is in the way of the screen. Damn it, wait, wrong way. Damn it! Right, so I have to jump over that then. I jumped that! I think it's fair to say I did jump that! What's this music about? It is also awful. Nicotine Valium, dinner, marijuana, nicotine and alcohol. Nicotine Valium, dinner, marijuana, nicotine and alcohol. This really does sound like feel good here this summer. I can't play this. That's the soundtrack. Oh! It's like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon more in high school, even Yu-Gi-Oh! I'd Pokemon players. Yeah, this game's a bit poo. He doesn't control very well at all. I would say with the horrible music, backyard skateboarding gets a mirror. I was saying.
Von Star. Right, so then we have Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. Now, while I exclaim there is a Baldur's Gate game on the system, it's only because I've heard of it. I've never played it. So I could hate this. Uh, I need to drink more of my coffee. Uh, I mean, we're clearly we're going to be a fighter. Available skill points to use. Um. I don't want the maxes. Oh, that's the max. You always max out charisma. That'll do. I am weary from your tra You are weary from travels. Yes, I am. But you are mesmerized at the sight of Baldur's Gate. Am I? Not only a city of myth and legend, but also a place where anyone can achieve fame and fortune. I mean. I could actually go for a sleep. I've already been kidding. This last couple of days has wrecked my body. With being ill and then having a back injury, yesterday was the first time I went heavy. Excuse me, on weight for like a month and a bit, and I'm feeling it. Plus training, plus weights this morning. Oh, we got proper directions. That's good. They realise that there are eight, eight directions. The silence is a bit unnerving. Or maybe it's just so you can hear this voice at the moment. So, do near the fireplace. We already spoke to him. Did not. He's got Ethan, but he's spelling correctly. Right. 
Right. Oh, God, I've locked into this, this now. No! Speaking on Jim shenanigans. Go on then, Timmy. My good friend would do this weird training strat. Uh, let's kill some rats. God! Better than my dagger? It is. Uh, whenever we do one arm at a time, like Curls tries to show you use different weight amounts. We told him not to, but he always would. But going back to what I said earlier, was he consistent about it? Because that's the thing I found, you know. I've seen all kinds of people do dumb shit at the gym. But they're there all the time and eventually that consistency, that commitment pays off. Even if what they're doing isn't the smartest thing. Because even in the, even within the scope of legitimate training techniques, and I'm talking about in all fields of training, there's always going to be debate as to what's effective, and ultimately they all work if you do them enough. here. Another rusty dagger. I mean, so far this seems okay. I wouldn't go any more than okay, though. Rusty short sword. That's got to be better than the club. It's allegedly the same, but we'll see. I feel better about having a sword compared to a club. Put it that way. Seems to swing it a bit faster. Uh, equip some armor. Is it me or does the gold thing on the top right look like a middle finger? The weird thing is, you would use heavy weights on a stronger arm. This is the bubonic plague simulator. I think I dropped something before. I dropped the sword, didn't I? I need to re equip that. Put the helmet on and maybe use a potion. Why 
like how to use them. Not arrows, but no bow. Wow, we got fucked up. Why wouldn't he let me use my potions? Is it the middle? Yeah, I'm saying it looks. It looked like a middle finger, though. Right, I feel like that's um, one of those ones where if you want to put the time into it, it's probably a bit better than the other games we've played so far, but not by much. Ooh, not bad. Again, I feel like an instruction booklet and maybe me paying attention to the tutorial books would have helped. But I'm not going to do that. Right. Ballistic X versus Sevar. Hey, Ollie. Long time no see. What are you doing? How you been? Oh, God, my hips. That's the worst thing about my back going. It's just... I've got over the worst of the back injury. It's just uh, radiating into my fucking hips now. Uh, just chilling now. I'm not too bad except for the back injury that I just spent the last 10 seconds bitching about. I genuinely thought the game was broken then. So, yeah, I remember this apparently being, like, allegedly one of the, the best games on... The Game Boy Advance, and then they did the film with Antonio Banderas and someone else, and it was like universally panned as one of the best, worst films ever. What? No, it wasn't. It was a, it was a guy. Antonio Banderas was a guy. There was a woman in it as well. I can't remember who it was. There's a film called X vs. Sever. All right. Um, no, I didn't fall over. I was warming up at training and I did a stretch and then I just felt a slight tweak in my back. Uh, couldn't train that morning because my back just completely say it seized up. Came home, was getting over that portion of the back injury and then the other side of my back went as I was trying to be careful. And yeah, I've just got a recurring sciatic injury. It will go at the worst time, like last year it happened in August, just literally the day I was going away to spend some time with some friends I haven't seen in years, like we had a reunion, and before I left I thought, oh you know what, will be cool, you know, not cool, you know, it's like it's the fucking mother of all things I could have done, but I was like, be nice, I'll empty the bin before I go so Doll doesn't have to do it, and I literally bent over the bin the slightest amount and my back went. And this is the kind of mental side of the whole back injury. I can go train on a Sunday morning, do double weights, uh, sorry, do heavy weights, then go do uh, an hour of kind of kickboxing. It's karate, but it's not. I, I don't want to kind of get... How am I just... Wow, this is hard. Yeah, and anyway, I'll do all that and nothing will happen. And then I'll empty the bin and cripple myself. Right, again, is this a case of we can do it, but should we have done it? Movie is it Ballistic X versus 7? Yeah, exactly the same as the game. And I know the game came first.
How to change weapons. Oh, there we go. My select goes right. Where's that even coming from? So apparently what made this great was that the things you did as one person affected the things that the other person would have to do. Kind of like, um... Kind of like, um, Deathloop, but well before Deathloop. The sniper gun is small. The sniper gun is shit. What? Like, how did this get so much praise? It's fucking awful. Right. I'm I'm saying it now. If you're going to try and do this. A first person shooter on this system, the chances are this is gonna happen. I was saying balloons. It was awful. You need two analog sticks now, or at least two ways to change direction and aiming to make these things work. Even if you play Doom where you cannot aim vertically, now your your movement and your strafing are on separate controls. Uh, we've got Banjo Pilot. Well, all keyboard and mouse, you know, just somewhere you can actually freaking control it. Question, what is worse, the game or the movie? I've never seen the movie, so I can't t tell you. I mean, the argument is, I would say that possibly they're both as bad as each other because no one asked for the movie and they shouldn't have made a game that's a first-person shooter on a system with four buttons and one control pad. I guess this is going to have uh, Diddy Kong Racing vibes to it. Turn the music down a bit. Quick race, Grand Prix, time trial, trophies, Cheeto, Jiggy Challenge, let's do Grand Prix. Uh play Mumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. Mumbo Jumbo. I appreciate the musical soul sounds respect to one GBA. Yeah, that that's not Where the music's been bad, it's been bad because it's bad, not because the Game Boy Advance couldn't do the music. It's got drift on it, just like Mario Kart as well, kind of. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that's the sound of the the cat throwing up on the rug.
Right, I assume that's something I can shoot with. Oh! Damn it! That'd be the equivalent of the green shell then, I'm guessing. Uh, the red shell, sorry. Now this is more what... Oh, that was my thing. Damn it. This is more what a, a Game Boy Advance should be. A game should be. Just a bit of weird little fun. Can I fire these backwards? Aha! <laughs> Kitty didn't like this game, I, don't, I take it. Uh, Jay Truth, Banjo in this. Yes, I just picked uh, Mumbo Jumbo because he was the kind of all round uh, kind of. What's the word I'm looking for? Attributes. Handling speed and all that. And how are you doing, J Truth? Let's see you back in. Do one more race. The cat is just meowing at everyone for no fucking reason. I wonder what the groaning noise is like. It sounds like me when I just stand up or something. Now I'm getting old. With the speed! Stars. Oh, we have a new follow. I can't see who right now. Bear with me. Matthew Lewis. Hey, Matthew. Introduce yourself. I'm sure Brayukin. Say hi in chat. I'm just a bit preoccupied right now. Now here's the thing, as we did with the Super Nintendo, I'm planning to go back at the end and play all the four star games with the Game Boy Advance. And play for longer. I would say just on first impressions, this is a four star game. So, but the thing is, it's just racing, so... Do we want me to just play racing for a full stream? The so first place, uh... Hey, Matthew Lewis. Someone's actually chatting. For, forgive, forgive me for my semi-sarcasm. It's just usually we we've had a lot of bots lately. Do you have Evil Dead the game? I I don't know. We're going through them in alphabetical order. So close that content. I will skip ahead and have a look just for you, J Truth. Bear with me. But Banjo Pilot gets. Four stars. Good job. So just for Matthew Lewis and J Truth, I don't know if I've ever explained this to you before. Mondays we do this where I just play little snippets of Game Boy Advance games and give them a quick first impression rating out of five stars. There are no half stars. Have to be four stars. Um, Tuesday and Thursday are kind of what I want to do, and on uh, Wednesday is when I go back and re uh, revisit the four-star games because we've already done this process with Super Nintendo. Oh, yeah, we've all got YouTube, a YouTube channel that everyone should go subscribe to because I, that's where I archive stuff, basically. Uh, right, so we've got more Banjo. Banjo-Kazooie Grunt is a revenge. Uh, Evil Dead, let's have a look. Oh, no, don't do that. Forward to the E's. Ever go no. Is it on Game Boy Advance? 
Because this is supposed to be pretty much everything. Right, Badger, Kazooie, Grunt is revenge. Depends on the racing, I won't mind watching you complete Diddy Kong racing. I don't know if he's... I've got it. I could probably... See, here's the problem. I could absolutely throw it onto RetroArch on the laptop, but we've had problems with streaming from the laptop and it emulating a game at the same time. I might have to take a brief comfort break in a minute after this game. And maybe you meant that new Evil Dead game that came out recently. Oh god no. I right. Not because I've got anything against it. Not because I've got anything against it. I have and I'm honest, I've seen very little of it. It's that Number one, I've got so many games to play through. Like, if I showed you the library that we've got on Xbox, then you would see there's like 300 games just sat on my Xbox in the library. On top of that, I'm from Yorkshire in England, and we're legendarily tight-fisted. We don't buy anything at full price. It has to be on sale. So you don't have N64 use of console? Yes, I do, but not uh, not all the games are on there. You know I've got uh, uh, N64. I've been playing Mario 64. I will let you guys know as well that soon... I'm planning to do once a month a kind of shock day. So if you guys who are there for the Mario 64 electricity stream, what are you looking at me like for? I've told you about this. Once a month won't hurt me. I mean, it will hurt me. Um, so yeah, I'll play a game where, you know, I'm not going to breeze through it. There's going to be deaths, and when I die, then the tensing machine will electrocute the living crap out of me. Uh, so I'll probably just start with Dark Souls. Might as well keep it simple. Go off! Here's your new intro! No, he will like this one. That's Goff's new intro. <laughs> he loves it! I knew he fucking would! <laughs> <laughs> Dargan says hello, and I hope you're doing good. Robo Grunty! Now, one thing I've, I've never gotten bored with Banjo Kazooie because I find the, the, the talking noises really irritating. I know he's meant to, you know, so they can just subtitle to whatever language, and it's kind of almost that Mr. Bean effect, that everything is visual, it, therefore it doesn't really have language. But that, I, I find that so irritating. By the way, God, that all came about simply because Rabbit Hole, Train of Thought, if you want to call it, that Doll had never heard the Top Gun theme. And then we went from Top Gun to Kenny Loggins, Kenny Loggins to Barney. And then I went, I watched the clip and I went, I bet Goff would like this. Can I get into some game? It's like a JRPG. That said, now, now Goff has got this intro, which I think he likes more than the original one. Maybe I should put the other one up to sale for someone. Because I've still got it. I haven't deleted it or anything. Someone else can have uh, the uh, Arnie and uh, Carl Weathers intro.
Oh god, can I play some fucking game? Oh, finally I can move. Okie dokie. Who's this purple loser? Hey guys, sorry I'll be too chatty, currently painting. Models or, like, walls. I assume it's models. I can't believe they strayed away from Donkey Kong for this. I'm, I, I, though I'm assuming it was Nintendo's decision rather than theirs. Jump on this thing's right no, can't can't jump on his head. Oh I can fight now, right. It's finally decided I can fight. Oh! Stop talking to me, you annoying twat! It's all like in the N64 titles, I believe so. I've played like the first few levels of Banjo Kazooie. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is how they talk. Them. Wish Donkey Kong could get another damn 3D platformer. I never. That's something I'm gonna have to play at some point. I never played Donkey Kong 64. I played Donkey Kong Country, and then I played the Weave. Donkey Kong Country Wii, was it? Was it just called Donkey Kong Country Wii? But I haven't played any of the others. Or Donkey Kong Country. Well, it's gonna happen at some point, so. I would say you should never help a jiggy priest. Probably not much of a priest. Also, I know this is technically a backpack, but Bandry is essentially slapping things with his handbag. Uh, and Tinky Winky would like a word. Pieces, not jiggy jiggies. It just. Why did people feel the name to rename everything from what it is? Like, it can't be fans, it has to be the WWE Universe. I know the answer, Smart Ass. I'm saying, don't do it. Marketing copyright. Yeah, I, I get, I get that. It just annoys me. Oh, 
Well, I've, you know, they they can leave. You've got no escape. <laughs> also, to be fair, I have given Goff plenty of vitriol in my time. By the way, on the subject of the YouTube channel, if you guys haven't had a chance to look at it, go over and look at the uh, clip I took from the uh, Grand Theft Auto stream that Goff and I did, where he got absolutely pasted across the road several times. Yeah. Like, if you could possibly turn someone into jam, that's how you do it. Uh, I'm still not the worst either. Yeah, you know, I, I I try to keep just at least average at everything. Oh, camouflage, son of a bitch. That whole jack of tra uh, all trades, master of none, that's very much my kind of, my deal. Yes, I've heard that. Right. I think I've had enough of this game now. I'm not a... <sighs> it's okay. It just doesn't reson resonate with me. So I'm going to give it a three. Oh, not bad. Let me go to a new page in the book. And I am going to take a brief comfort break. Otherwise known as, I need a piss. I'll be back in a second. It's only pulling a garnet if you do it five times per stream. Minimum. Oh, God, now we're on to the good shit. Barbie and the magic of Pegasus. What time? Oh, shit. Half an hour. It's going to be Barbie till the end of it. How many? Barbie and the Magic of Pegasus. Barbie is the Island Princess. Barbie is the Princess and the Pauper. Barbie Groovy Games. Barbie Horse Adventures Blue Ribbon Race. Barbie and 12 Dancing Princesses. Barbie Super Pack. Another fucking shrimp in sight. I think you should shut the hell up. Alright, uh, bar being the magic of Pegasus.
hard to turn that down, that's irritating. But I'll be half hour extra, that's the worst thing. I'm probably only going to get through about three of them. No one cares. Assuming thing is, hands down, this is already the best Barbie game we've played. Because we did play a, Barbie, a couple of Barbie games on Super Nintendo. <laughs> Why can't I be this guy? <laughs> yeah, he's got a cool like staff and a griffin. Well, this guy's borderline a rapist. Uh, just point out, you can return the favour. This fucking little fly knocking around. Is it epic? Is it? Yeah, yeah, go off if you want. It's good to troll the mods, and you can return the favor to doll. Doesn't mean I'm gonna come up because I will blast after my car. For the record, if you haven't worked it out, Doll hates that song. I wrote the vocals of that song when playing Rock Band. <laughs> It's an awesome song. The weird thing is, they're actually a British band, but they were not famous over here. They made it bigger in America than they ever did over here. 
Kind of like how Scissor Sisters were bigger over here than they were over there. Just get through this level and then, uh... Oh, you can drop through platforms. I can float up to high places with this one power. Let's up. I hate to admit it, this isn't a bad platform game. Also, what the hell happened to Shrek? Why is Shrek if Shang Tsung had taken his soul? Crossy Tachi went, what? <laughs> Sad thing is the graphics, the gameplay look good. We... Oh, thanks it. Uh, gotta go the phone, down. I need to call my sister now to... Okay, see you later, Dargan. Played worse games than this, hands down. I assume that's an extra life. Run away! He's right on my ass! Night, but done now. Uh, can I honestly say this is a four star game? Though? I mean, I'm still playing it. It's like there was just one person who, uh, uh, Vivendi went, you know what, fuck it, we're making a decent game. Uh, I can't believe I'm going to do this. I can't, I honestly can't believe I'm going to do this. Good job. No, it's not the first hidden gem. It's not the first. I think 
Then we just have a brief look back. The first hidden gem we found. Like, proper surprise, I think. So, so far, the four star games are Action Man Robot Attack. Attack spelled incorrectly. Alien Hominid, but that's not a surprise because people know about Alien Hominid. Alienator's Evolution Continues. That was good. Uh, Army Men Turf Wars. Around the World in 80 Days. Astro Boy Omega Factor. And then the Avatar games. Avatar The Last Airbender and Avatar... The Last Airbender, The Burning Earth. Banjo Pilot we've done today. So there's been a few. But in terms of, like, if you'd have asked me to put money on that being a decent game, I'd have said no. Oh, shit. Just not the... I'm so going to get you a Barbie outfit, and I'm so not going to wear it. Barbie as the Island Princess. I wish we could play Rip Band on stream. I'd love to, to do that. I mean, yes, but we'd also need the stuff, which we don't have, and it's very hard to come by now. At least not in any working condition. Yeah, because we can't. So then don't say it's the stuff, because I found it. No, but, yeah, but you don't know that works. Like I'm saying, I, I bought it second-hand before. Often it's not... Yeah, well, like I say, it's not necessarily one to do, it's just you can't do it. Uh, start. See, I feel like this is going to come back down to earth now. Fish with treasures of the sea. Avoid the fish. They can knock you out. Knock out items you've collected. So I've got to go fishing without actually catching fish. Really? We've had this discussion before about great game music, but in that way that I tend to be kind of magnanimous about stuff, and regardless of my feelings on the uh, Resident Evil music and Chemical Plant Zone, I think that might be the singular greatest track ever bespoke for a video game. 
Because who listens to that and doesn't want to start beating the living shit out of everything that moves? Sure, hates boss base profit. I mean, I'm at least I can do this, and it's somewhat peaceful, and I'm not actually getting fish, which is weird. What's the saying? T uh, give a man a fish, and he'll feed himself a day for a day. Teach a man to fish. And he'll feed himself forever. Teach Barbie to fish. And she'll go get seashells and starve to death. I thought Rosella, that's not a name, to collect coconuts and pineapples, bounce the fruit into Rosella's woven basket. They just sounds like going. I love fruit. I love fruit. How do how do I control the birds? Doing. I love fruit. Hey, Kitty. Thanks for the clip, Garth. No, this isn't even Barbie, it's Rosella apparently. Right, I basically Kitty, I've set it up so that certain people have intros when they appear in chat. And because you've been so generous with the channel, uh essentially in a lot of ways some of the some of the equipment is because of your generosity we figured it was only right that you have your own intro so it's basically for the mods collaborators so there's one other person who's got a special one as well and um, we've given one for you as well I'm sick of hearing the words, I love fruit, and I swear to God, if I get a text message just before I go to sleep from a certain someone's night that says, I love fruit, and they know who they are, because <laughs> this has happened before, what, what was it? Oh, that was it. I'd had a cacophony back and forth between Axe and Doll of O Canada. And then the last thing I saw before I closed my eyes is my phone buzzed and I got a WhatsApp message from Doll that was just Ralph Wiggum singing O Canada. Thank God Axe isn't here. Right, this game's. I would have used a British expression. This game's gash. It's so boring. Oh, right, we'll get one more game in. Uh, what did Kitty say? Barbie game, video games are evil. Now, here's the thing, Kitty. You missed the first one we played, which was actually good. Oh, like, we gave it four stars. The last one is that we're going to do today is Barbie as the Princess and the Pauper. So, to reiterate that other thing I was saying earlier, we. Right, I swear to God, 
If you're gonna stop me, if you're gonna keep interrupting me actually making announcements, I will come in there and I'll mask and tape your mouth shut. I'm trying to do business. And one day a month, we're gonna do shock days where we get out the electrifying machine and shock me on death in games. That's the news for today. Tomorrow, I think we're playing Made of Scare, because that was the only response I saw to Made of Scare or Sniper Elite 5. See, I don't know now, and I and granted, fair enough. Is this someone else doing the stickers, or is Axe just lurking and not saying a bastard word? Hang on. Is this the same game? Hey, Crazy T. It's not the same game. I don't know why Barbie's got a shield. Same. Oh god, the, the the squirrels hurt. You don't sing that well if you're scaring squirrels off. Um, it's pretty much the same. I want a better phrase engine as the other Barbie game that was actually good. See, I've got a theory now that if I do that. What? 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 what, what? Uh, the other one can jump on top. My theory was wrong. Why would I put the shield down? I mean, this is far better than the second Barbie game, but I would not put it on a par with the first one. But I'm um, at least impressed they tried. As opposed to, here, put the pretty clothes on the thing. You're a girl, you like pretty clothes, don't you? What do you mean you like football? How dare you? Thing, uh, and maybe Doll will be able to corroborate on this that Barbie with her original proportions basically would have been impossible for her to stand up 
as they were when Barbie was first created. What's wrong with your eyes? Like, we're having major health problems. Yeah, By the way, Doll, Doll likes me in these. I don't know what you guys think. Doll thinks they look good on me. They're not real, you know, there's no lenses in these ones. Oh. Good job. Let's turn that off. There's a parachute too, which is not how physics works, but okay. I have a hard time liking you in general. You still manage it though. Crazy tea. I used to wear glasses when I was a kid. Um, I'm slightly long sighted in my left eye, but it's something that I only notice if I close my right eye for whatever reason. And since I generally don't go walking around with my left eye shut, it's not a problem. And one day I was at the opticians and he said, look, your eyes aren't going to get any better, but they're not going to get any worse. So unless you actually feel discomfort or you have problems seeing, you don't have to wear glasses. So from that day forward, I never wore glasses again. Like in general, just out and about, I can see pretty much perfectly. That was a different time, a different me, who had a ball cut. Because it was the 90s and all young, young boys had a ball cut. This guy in his little avatar there looks like a kind of, oh, is it a girl, I don't know, demon porcelain thing. Right, let's see if the next level's any better. game it's not offensively bad and considering we were dreading the Barbie games this could have gone a far lot worse but all that said it's not really inspiring Seeds. Like surely the cats and dog job is just to 
sit around licking their own bits. It's the joy of being a cat or a dog, isn't it? I hit the squirrel first. Effy squirrel. It seems like the cat is more useful than the dog. Long here. Not a lot. Uh, yeah, the second one's a doge. It's called Wolfie, so it'll be killed by the T1000 before this is over. Was that just a complete red herring? No! Damn it! Send the dog up. We'll do this level, then we'll call it. Uh, and tomorrow we'll be back with uh, Made of Scare. And I know sound, it sounds like I'm saying it weird. It's not M A D E of S C A R E. It's M A I D of S K E R. So I'm assuming it's pronounced Scare. Right, that's just, you know, I'll be generous, I'll give it a three. It's just a bit slow. But again, at least they tried to do something as opposed to just dress up the thing. Oh dear, moving the headphones off. So that's three of my finest stars. Right, so we'll come back to that next week. Tomorrow is made of scar. Wednesday, well, all being well, finish off the tag. I've only got all quick, yeah. Uh, Wednesday should hopefully be finishing Alkhest and then moving on to the next Super Nintendo four-star game, which would be, if uh, I could hear myself think, Alkhest would be Alien 3. And then Thursday, we'll just see what happens. So, thanks everybody for popping in. Um, I don't know what else to say, really. Oh, there'll be no stream next Monday. I'll say that now. There'll be no stream next Monday because I've got to take my dad to hospital because he's having an operation on his eyes, the cataracts, and I've got to be there at half past 12. I don't know how long things are going to be, when I've got to bring him back, but I just can't. I can't stream next Monday. Doesn't mean I get to drive his car, though. So, let's see who's on... We will raid. Mm. Right, first person to put one or two in chat. So just pick one or two, pick who I'm raiding. I'll you... tell you who it is, just pick one or two. Goff says one, right. We're going to raid Mel Plays Games then. So say hi. Be good, everybody, and I'll see you all tomorrow.
Catch you later.